Welcome to Shine Chats. I'm Dan LaRosa, Senior Manager of Team Shine Community Services. Today, I'm joined by Fran Mello, Division Director at Family Service League, a Long Island, New York-based human services agency that helps individuals, children, and families to mobilize their strengths, improve the quality of lives in their homes, in their workplaces, and in the community. Fran, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Dan. So 25 years ago, Henry Schein began its back to school program, and it's been a great run, thanks to outstanding partnerships with organizations like the Family Service League. Can you tell us a little about your team's experience on this journey with us and helping to give back? It's been an amazing experience, Dan. I mean, thankfully, um, I've had an opportunity to really see it grow over the years. I have been with Family Service League for 24 of those 25 years that you've been partners with us. So I've really had an opportunity to, to see um, so many of the staff that you have that have been working for you and uh, all of the care and compassion that they put into the work um, that they're looking to do with these kids, with these families. Um, it's been a, a positive experience from the start. You know, we, we did um, work back when the program started with Marsha Simpkins, who used to oversee this program. Um, and now um, Anthony and Alexis and Jenna, and you know, the team has just always been so um, enthusiastic and really always wanting to help. I remember, you know, calling Marsha and saying, oh, we have a few more people that we need. And she would always, you know, find a way to get us a few more spots when, when things were limited. Um, it's just been an amazing experience start to finish. Yeah, you know, the Team Shine members who participate in this program and all the Team Shine members really have so much heart they bring to the program. And we can only do it because of our partners like you and, and the team that uh, Family Service lead. The program itself, this time of year, as people prepare to get back, uh, go back to school, is um, so important for millions of people around the world. And you know, give us a sense of the folks that you serve, the Family Service League, as they're preparing to school. Why is it important to boost their confidence as they um, look forward to starting a new school year? Well, that's a great question. I mean, really, the folks that we serve here at Family Service League range from, you know, all different towns, all different populations, all different types of people. Um, but one thing everyone, you know, every school age child has in common is they're about to be embarking on a next school year um, and they need to be prepared. Um, and a lot of the youth and the families that we serve have challenges with that sometimes. You know, they may be struggling with just the basic everyday needs. And so school supplies and back to school clothing are things that just add to those financial challenges. So being able to have these backpacks filled with all of the, the wonderful things that kids need to get started. You know, the things that we might take for granted, you know, a notebook, a folder, um, having a backpack, having the pens that you need to, to start that first day. It takes away some of that anxiety. I think that, you know, we can all have that anxiety going into, you know, the first day of anything. And so kids are no different. And certainly with COVID, things have gotten even a little bit more anxious for a lot of people. So having an opportunity to just feel like they can start their day, they can start their school year with everything they need is so, so important. Sure. Um, I think you have a backpack, a sample backpack that's going to be given to a child in your program from the Henry Schein Back to School program. You want to give us a peek inside and see what uh, see what's included in the in the supplies that they get? So what we have in here is some pens and pencils. We have, you know, erasers, highlighters. I love this. A little, a little extra. We have the toothbrush and toothpaste kit. They have composition notebooks and wide rule notebooks, really everything they need to, to get started. And then we have some great folders available for the kids. So you guys have really done an amazing job of making sure that, you know, they have what they need to get started. And 
you know, that can just help them build a successful school year and really reduce some of that burden, you know, that the families can feel. Sure. Well, thanks for showing that because you know, the Team Shine members who put these um, backpacks together make great efforts to try and make sure we get all the basics so that children going back to school are the same as everybody. They have all the same supplies. They don't have to be concerned about not having a pencil, um, not having paper to write down assignments. Then having the basics and that brand new backpack is uh, makes them look forward to learning because they're prepared. So it makes a huge difference. And um, I don't know about you, I've been in the stores and we hear about inflation all the time. So while I was in the stores, I was really surprised how high back to school prices um, are, have been this particular year. For families, middle-class families and most families, it's a challenge because the prices are in some cases twice as much as they were even last year. But I imagine that for the families that you serve who are already struggling, it's, it's an even greater hardship um, to, to be prepared for school. Absolutely. And, you know, that's from the school supplies as well as the clothing. You know, sometimes the outfit that they're going to be getting from the generosity of, of the people who work for you at Henry Shine is, is the only new outfit they're going to have this year. Um, and certainly the only new outfit they're going to start their school with. And so it, it just helps to boost that confidence. There's a lot that just giving people this kindness is really doing for them, you know, beyond just the items themselves. It's, it's the care and all the, the love that goes into it. You know, when, when you used to do those um, in-person events, there's so many positive stories about, you know, just how much everybody cared um, about the kids. Sure. And honestly, it's all about the children. It's all about making the children feel confident, looking forward to a future, feeling great about themselves so they can take that next step to success in the school year. So I had a quick question where our uh, time is going to be coming to a close soon, but do you have any special memories about any of the back to school pro years that uh, your facility has been working with um, Henry Shine, whether it was directly or through some of your team members? Yeah, I mean, I have ha heard so many stories shared over the years. You know, I, I unfortunately have not had the opportunity to be myself in person at the events, but, you know, families um, are, are amazed. We're amazed when they would come to the in-person events. And, and certainly they are so grateful for the, the gift cards and the things that they're getting even without the in-person event. But, but those are the stories I remember, you know, just having an opportunity for a family to come together um, and experience something and, and being treated to all of those things that, that were at the, the back to school event. Um, there was a, a family, a story about a family who had never had a picture taken of their whole family before. And they went into the photo booth and they were able to get those pictures. And that meant so much to them. A child who got their very first jersey and put it on immediately, you know, once he received that jersey. So, you know, it's it's these things that just, they mean a lot to the kids. They mean a lot to the families. Um, and we're so, so appreciative. Sure. I mean, we, we cherish our relationship we have with uh, Family Service League. And was interested in finding out from you, how can other companies get involved with Family Service League or nonprofit community agencies to see how they can help? Yeah, I mean, there's so many ways to get involved, Dan. I think the, the best thing to do uh, if you're looking to get involved with Family Service League is to reach out to Jonathan Chenkin from our development department. Um, he is our chief development officer at jchenkin at fsl-li.org. Um, as far as what people can do, there's there's so many different things. So of course, you know, any agency is, is so excited um, for any kind of donation anyone wants to make, whether it be a monetary donation or an in-kind donation, which is what, you know, this is considered where we're, we're giving um, items to families. It could be a donation of time. If it's something within your organization that you have to give 
um, that could benefit people directly. You know, there's really a lot of, of good opportunities. One piece of advice is just to kind of think about what it is that your agency wants to give. So, you know, when, when Henry Schein contacted us, it was, this is what we want to do. We're sponsoring people for back to school and we want to give them these backpacks and provide them with these, uh, you know, this clothing. And that's, that's where we're, you know, that's where our relationship started. So that was, that's been a, a great one and amazing for, for all of us, really. I mean, it's just been a great partnership. For them to uh, open their hearts and open their minds to see what works best for everybody. It'll make the, uh, it'll make a great difference. It'll be completely meaningful and um, it'll do a lot of good in the process. So thanks so much, Fran. It's been great chatting with you. Um, you've been such a wonderful partner to our back to school uh, program and look forward to many, many years to come working with you to help um, children and families in need of our island. We'll see you next time on Shine Chats. Thanks, Dan.